Oh, very detailed. Very detailed. She made them. You made them. I did. Oh, very good. Very detailed. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. If you're not, welcome back to October. Today, we are gonna be talking about our Glowforge Mickey ear kits, which are so fun. We launched them this October. We're gonna come out with new characters and themes a lot, and there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with them. So today, we're gonna go over 10 different ways to decorate your MDF kits when you get any type of kit from us. So you're gonna see that all in this video. So let's go. First way we are going to do our Mickey ears is with Marvy paint pens. Marvy's one of our partners and all of our members get 20% off or 30% off their site. But we love all of their pens, but their paint pens are really cool for projects like this. The MDF kind of just soaks up the paint super quickly so it dries pretty quick and then you'll need to go in with a few different coats. But if you are like me, I like to draw more than I like to paint. So when it comes to doing all these little pieces, I really do enjoy like the therapeutic part of drawing on these, but then getting that finished look of paint just kind of makes it more fun for me. Um, and then they have metallic pens as well, which is super cool because it can look like you spray painted these, but you don't have to tape anything off or anything like that. Here's our Hocus Pocus bow. I love this bow. Okay, the next way to do your ears is to chalk paint them with a brush. And like I just said, sometimes it is hard to chalk paint or um, like you, if you wanna use a pen, but when you're doing bigger surfaces, you can um, get more done quickly with chalk paint. And here I am switching the colors. I started with black stripes on top of green and they kind of disappeared when I put them on the green. So I switched them back, which is one of the reasons why I love our chalked up paint, um, which is one of the products we carry. It can be fixed super easy. The next one is to glitter and chalk paint. So chalk paint is super durable, but when you chalk paint and then dust our super ultra fine glitter on it stays on so good and it gives it kind of like a almost like glitter htv look because it's just like full coverage so the ticket to doing this though is to work quickly because our chalk paint dries super quick and you want to do this on the last coat of the paint that you do but because this is such full coverage glitter and paint i only needed to do one so i'm using our black i can't think of the actual name of this glitter but it's our non-holographic black i only like to use this black when i'm not sealing it with something because then it doesn't disappear when you seal it with a clear this black specifically disappears our holographic black does not look how cool that is i missed a little spot also our glitter is now available on itsprettypersonal.com and you also as a member get 20% off or 30% off their entire site but that is now where you can get the entire Auntie Tay fine ultra fine glitter collection. Here I am sealing so this is another way to glitter. If you're doing something with a ton of little pieces I recommend not chalk painting it. I recommend spray glittering it and that just really helps you um, get all those nooks and crannies. These are actually one of my favorites. I took the file that we have for the Glowforge ears and I uploaded it to Cricut Design Space and I just cut it out of flock heat transfer vinyl so that I could heat transfer vinyl on top of the wood pieces. And this was game changer because it made the horns feel like they were velvety smooth, but I didn't have to paint or anything. So it was really cool. Not sure why I have a rubber band on my fingers, but I guess I was making a bow. The next way you can do this is just use vinyl. Um, I was trying to do this one-handed, so I totally messed it up. But this is the new twinkle or sparkle vinyl that we, holographic sparkle vinyl that we have on Shop Antique, by the way. Just wanted to show that off really quickly. 
Here is probably my favorite thing that I did. Mod Podge, Mod Podge fabric. Um, in between the layers, I didn't want like the top of my piece to be textured in fabric. So I chalk painted this red and then I went in with Mod Podge lace and then I Mod Podged onto that as well. And then I let that dry for like a day and came back to this later. And I'm gonna show you how I cut as close as possible to the wood piece. The scissors have like a quarter inch or tiny little gap if you're cutting one way. So flip your wood upside down so that you get that um, straight edge like right up against the wood. Then the next one is using Fusion Tack, which is our new bling glue. And I like to put it in these bottles from Amazon. But uh, Fusion Tack is by Super Tight, which is another one of our partners. And our members get 20 or 30% off if you're a business member. But this glue holds so good and you can sometimes make messes with it but it holds so good and it is non-toxic which is what we love about super tight is they are made in europe so their list of ingredients are way smaller than the list of ingredients we're allowed to use here in the united states which is one of the reasons why we partnered with them i am using the ariel inspired bling um, set for these ursula ears and I'm literally obsessed with these ears. They are chalk painted, by the way, with um, ebony and plum. And I actually used the chalk paint that came in the Hocus Pocus kit from last year, the little baby jars. I have a lot left over from those. And I'm just using our bling tool and I'm blinging it up. And you can see you do not need a lot of fusion pack um, because it just goes a very long way. It does dry clear, so that makes it really fun because um, you, it'll disappear after this is all done. I used to use E6000 and now I don't because it is extremely toxic and it um, dries and sometimes turns yellow over time. And I'm hoping this doesn't do that because I've only used it in the last couple months, but I can already tell I love it so much better. It's easier to work with. It doesn't dry as quickly. So you can get your bling on there and move it around or take it off if you need to. And it's not, it again, doesn't have that crazy smell that gives you a headache at the end. And so I'm just gonna kind of make these look like tentacles and you can bling all of your ears up. That would be super cool too. But you guys know me, I like to just subtly bling. It makes the project seem less daunting to do and it just gives it that little extra oomph of sparkle, especially at night in the park. I love the bling at night. And the last Sam did on her ear, she used glow-in-the-dark vinyl, which I think is so cute. Um, there are so many things that you can do with your Mickey ears. So these will be coming out all the time. We have every character in the works for you guys to get be able to get kits on um, antitate.com. And they are for members only for the first 48 hours when they launch. And then after that, they open to the public. But if you are a member, you get 20% off or 30% off if you're a business member. So check it out. We have also the Glowforge cut files for all the characters coming out alongside those. Love you guys. Bye.